Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Okay. Eh? Yes. Look at it. I could not begin to tell you how many emails and DMs I've received in the past 24 hours about this subject. Y'all already know I was on it. So if you don't know, news broke yesterday that the beloved TV host Wendy Williams' beautiful condo of her dreams was sold four days ago to the lowest bidder. Wendy purchased this home in July of 2021 for roughly $4.5 million. She got a mortgage for $2.9 million, which means she put around $1.6 million down however sabrina recently sold this home for 3.7 million which is roughly eight hundred thousand dollars less than what wendy paid for the humble abode so i kind of felt like this would happen for quite some time so i put the home on an mls search just so it would alert me anytime the home was listed for sale however that did not happen and the reason why it did not happen it's not showing that the home was ever listed on mls it looks like a straight out Sale. So it seems like numbers were discussed and a deal was worked out and it doesn't even seem like a realtor was present. However, there's homes in this same building selling for roughly four, five million dollars, almost six million dollars. So why did Wendy's home go for so low? We are going to break this story down and so much more. But before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this story and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Now, Wendy Williams' finances have been the topic of conversation lately, and it's not because of any fault of her own. However, it's been due to her guardian, Sabrina Morrissey. Now, Wendy, who recently had a lien placed on her Manhattan condo for over $568,000 due to balances owed to the IRS, has been locked out of her bank account since early 2022 because they're stating that she was a victim of undue influence and financial exploitation, and they also labeled her as an incapacitated person. Lori Schiller and Wells Fargo have this guardianship petition about keeping me away from my money. This is not right. And you know this is not fair. Because of that, her family was shut out of handling business for Wendy and Sabrina Morrissey was then granted guardianship over Wendy Williams. Since then, it was stated that there were times that Wendy would often go hungry waiting for the guardian to approve ordering of her meals, as well as certain allowances she once granted her son, such as paying his rent. That was halted, almost causing him to be a victim. No one has been given any real information or documentation in regards to what, if anything, is even left in Wendy Williams' account. Although we do know she was paid roughly half a million dollars for her contribution to the documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? Now reports are alleging that Wendy's beautiful penthouse that was seen in the documentary has now sold for $3.7 million. Now I looked up the current owners and there are a married couple Couple, both 38 years old and they have several million dollar homes in New York that they still own however I'm trying to find if there's any correlation or relationship to Sabrina and if there is ooh, I'm telling now this couple literally live five minutes away from Wendy's home so my thing is this with all of the homes that were available in Wendy Williams's condo how did this couple know that that particular home was listed if it wasn't on an MLS site, if it wasn't on Realty.com, if it wasn't on Zillow? Like who told them about this home being for sale? There is a home literally right next door to Wendy's that has the same views that's 100 square feet less than Wendy's but has half a bath bigger and they are selling this for $5.9 million. So why in the hell would Wendy's property go for $3.7 million? Why were you in such a rush? Now, according to the New York Post, the three bedroom, three bathroom penthouse traded hands for 3.75 million, making a considerable decrease of 822,000 from its purchase price in July of 2021. An insider close to Williams lamented her circumstances, telling the Post, Wendy's dream has always been to live in Manhattan in a dream apartment, but never got a chance to do so. It is a very unfortunate situation. 
Prior to the sale, Williams diversified herself of all personal belongings housed within the property, including her iconic purple chair, a fixture synonymous with her provocative hot topic segments that captivated audiences for years. Meanwhile, at the same time that Williams was selling off her belongings, she was also dealing with a hefty tax problem. She owed more than half a million dollars in unpaid taxes, which resulted in a federal tax lien. Legal documents revealed that her New York City condo purchased for $4.5 million in 2021 was affected by this lien. So I will tell you guys this, anytime you sell a property and there's any type of lien placed on that property, that property cannot be sold and that new owner take on that lien. What will happen is you'll have to satisfy that lien prior to selling or they will take the funds out of the proceeds from the sale. Now, I'm not sure which was done in this situation, but I do see that the lien has been satisfied. Now, we all know that it's been claimed that Wendy had been diagnosed with frontal temporal dementia and aphasia and had been deemed incapacitated. Now, one could only assume that because of the progression of this disease and the inability to not only slow it down, but the inability to cure it, the guardian made the executive decision to sell Wendy's property, being that she would not be capable to to fully enjoy the home. Also, since Wendy is unable to enjoy the property, what is happening with the proceeds from the sale of such property? Since Wendy can't do anything with that either. Is that going to Wendy's pocket? The fact is Wendy warned us a while ago about people stealing money from her and they tried to make her sound crazy. Now the thing is, Wendy talked about it during the documentary and a certain someone wanted to shut the documentary down. And they were trying to make it to where the public would not see it because it would show Wendy in a bad light. However, we know whose light they were trying to dim. Now with Sabrina requesting different cases concerning and Wendy be sealed, her now going back and forth with Calvin, them selling all of Wendy's household items, including her iconic purple chair, Sabrina promising Wendy's ex-husband that he could see Wendy's financial accounts and then no longer allowing him to look through them, and Sabrina selling Wendy's home for the low, things are looking very shady and it seems like no one can be accountable for what's going on with Wendy. I really don't like the way this situation is looking. I don't like the fact that the family can't see her, don't know where she is, is unable to talk to her unless they have her call them. Like it's just too much going on. I wanna know what you think about everything going on with this situation. What do you think about Sabrina just being able to go in and sell the home and nobody knows about it? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later, bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.